Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to set up and install Next.js on your Mac in Visual Studio Code and get the project up and running. So quick recap, what is Next.js? It's a React-based framework helps you build modern web applications. It's built on top of React, so all the good React features that you know and love are there. It just adds powerful features that make development and production apps more efficient, like file-based routing, server-side rendering, static site generation, incremental static regeneration, API routes, and like a lot of optimized performance under the image tag is the big one that a lot of people are talking about. It has built-in TypeScript support, obviously, and a new app router as well. It's better for SEO, you know, faster page load, it's backed by Vercel, that's a, you know, a big one these days. Um, so, I mean, that's a, you know, a little recap. So this video is more how to set it up. If you want more information on what it is, the ins and outs, feel free to let me know in the comments. So first of all, what we're going to do is get everything that we need necessary. So we need to install Homebrew. So if you search for Homebrew, I'll have a separate video doing this on Linux and doing this on Windows. And Homebrew is a package manager. It allows you to easily manage and install packages. So if you click this copy button, open your terminal up, you can open it from here if you don't have the icon. And you just copy and paste it in here, click enter. It'll ask you for your password. This is the password that you sign into your Mac, not your Apple account. Click enter again, it'll install. It can take a bit of time. Well, mine won't take too long because I've you know, already installed it. Um, Mine does come up with like a little warning, um, but that's because I've already got it installed on the update. But yeah, we can ignore that. You can ignore that for now. And yeah, you just run that command. You should be all good. And then what you want to do is run brew install node. So brew is saying use homebrew. Install is the install command. And then we install in node.js. And this allows us to actually create and use the packages. Again, I've already got it installed, but for you, it can take a bit of time. If he asks you to confirm anything, do that. If he asks you for your password, put in that same password again. Now we can create our project. I'm going to CD to the desktop and create it here. Obviously, feel free to create it wherever you want. So I'm going to type in npx create dash next dash app at latest. So you'll use the latest next.js version. I'm going to call it test dash app so here is where you put the name of the application and press enter you know ask you for a few things now so first of all do you want to proceed yes okay my bell we have to have all lowercase okay would you like to use typescript yes and you know do you want to use a linter i recommend doing that use es lint would you like to use Tailwind CSS? Yeah, it just you know helps with the CSS side of things. Click yes. Would you like to put your code inside the source directory? Also yes. Would you like to use the app router? Also yes, the app router is great. You know, you just create a folder that's the root name and then you create a page.tsx file inside. Again, I might create a separate video explaining that. Turbo pack, yes as well. And do you want to customize the import alias? This is no. This if you do no, just make it easier to import files. Unless you have a specific need, leave it at no. Now you'll install anything that's required for the project. You'll create the folder on the desktop. Okay, now we can open it up in Visual Studio Code. So we're going to click Open, go to the desktop, go to Test App, click Open, and in here, all the files are here. It's going to look like a React project because essentially it is. It's just an extra layer on top. You got the next configuration file as well, and they're very important. And finally, we're going to run it. So I'm going to go to Terminal, New Terminal. I'm going to type in npm run dev this is now running we can copy this or we can use the the network link if we want to use it on another device that's on the same network 
Antioquía, Pesaren. This is our website, and you know, you, I can show you by editing it. If I go to page.tats, and I'll say instead of get started, I'll say welcome to the Soma System YouTube channel. Save it. It does have live reloading, so it does do live reloading as well. There's some other command like npm run build and then npm run start, which is for production mode. Again, I'll have a more in-depth video covering how to handle that side of things. So that's how you set up your next.js project on Mac and open it in Visual Studio Code. Any questions, feel free to comment down below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.